really when it comes to fishing the best thing to do well is just to go fishing and that's what we're going to do we're going to try to catch a few crappie here this evening and i'm using a nine foot plus sam super sensitive graphite jig pole four pound test mr crappie and an old reel here vintage reel garcia mitchell 308 that's what we're going to be doing right here right now now i'm using which is becoming one of my favorite baits and a crappie magnet now look here i got it tied with a palomar knot using a 132nd ounce jig head and that's it and that's what we're going to be doing right now at this time if there's any crappie down through here they're not going to be very deep not very deep at all uh I would say no deeper than four feet deep. Now I would use a float right here and it might make, it might be a lot better, it might be a lot better if I did, but they should be pretty active this evening to count this front coming in tonight. So I'm just gonna cover as much water as I can this evening. Now I pitch that jig out there, probably over eight feet of water and I let it sink about five feet deep four or five feet deep i'm gonna keep that rod tip high and i'm gonna bring that jig back to me slow real slow now what these crappie if they're bedding in here they should be bedding in between some of these rocks uh the the first drop off right there that's around three four feet deep so i'm trying to keep this jig within oh, a foot to 16 inches from the bottom especially when i get on in here closer I'm trying to maintain that distance from the bottom because these are spawning crappie or should be they should be a few down through here this is a sandy bottom right here that's what crappie prefer when they're bedding a sandy bottom We just got to catch one this evening. Got to catch that first fish before we know what to do. There we go. That fish hit it on the fall. That fish hit it on the fall. That's the first crappie of the evening, folks. I got a bite right there. And I missed him, and I pitched it right back and let it sink a little. Uh, as it was falling, he hit it. And probably, like I said, about four feet from the surface right there. So it is what I thought it was. That's a good fish right there. From the bank. Quit. From the bank. Crappie magnet. Let's let him go. Now they could be, see I missed one and, and it's, it could have been this fish because I pitched it right back in the same place or they could be several. That's a female crappie right there. I get excited. I can't help it. Yeah, oh, that one took off. I tell you, I have caught more fish on this crappie magnet right here in the last few days and i've caught on any bait i've ever used and i've used them before but not since i've been doing this channel but i'm going to tell you i'm okay let's just let it fall see if we want to do the same thing let's let it fall let it fall let it fall then pick it up and just hold it there what i'm doing right now is seeing if there's another crappie there the point is, is not when you catch a crappie like that, don't leave that spot. They could be several laying out there. There's one. That's a bluegill right there. There's a variety of fish right here. Let me get right here. I'm standing on a little pointy rock right there. Looked at a ugly bird. Any other time he'd be pretty, but right now he ain't because I missed a fish. I'm going to fish a up above where I caught that fish. I'm letting it fall, letting it fall. And at that depth, 
pick that rod up and let it just fall back to me slow. There we go. That fish was right by the bank. I mean, right by the bank. That's a black crappie. A male. Come on in here. I ain't a bad one. Yep, you didn't get off, did you? Look at there. They... That mosquito's been chawing on that one ear since I've been here. It's just about numb. He's hit her about three or four good ones. And I ain't even had time to scratch it. But look at there. Let him chew. Okay. Let's let him go right here. That's a beautiful little male. There we go. He jumped like a bass fish. Okay. Well, at least we're catching some. They're scattered up, folks, right down through here. They're definitely scattered up. That's okay. I know how to walk. Good exercise for an old man. Woo wee. Let's catch another one. I got a lot of control with this jig pole because it's long. About keeping that bait in place as much as possible right in front of that fish's face that fishy's face you can maintain a lot of control from the bank much more from the bank than you can a boat i mean really if you can pinpoint the depth and the area and catch a couple of fish like this oh my goodness you can slay them a lot of times it's real slow every once in a while pick it up and let it fall and let it the jig just come to you let it come to you don't force it to you just let it come to you they i knew that was a crappie when he thumped it Ain't that pretty, that fish fighting against that pretty sheen on the water calls, but I, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Come on in here. What's happened right here? These fish is scattered. Oh, good one. But, um, yeah, what's happened is they're scattered, but they messed up. When the first one messed up, folks, it was on I know what they're doing. Figured it out right off the bat. Lucky. Just lucky. Lucky fisherman. Quit. That is a healthy looking dude right there. Okay. Got him loosed. He's got a lot of olive in him. A lot of green and black. Purple. White right here on his fins. Just a beautiful little fish. Let's let him go on back and do his job. If I was hungry, he'd be in the grease. Go on back. Okay. Well, we're catching a few right here. But the reality of it is, folks, they are scattered and I'm having to work for them. But is, is that or is that not? the sport of fishing they're not going to come out here and just jump on the bank just because Richard Gene the fishing machine is Adderall that just ain't going to happen got to work everything requires work but the main thing about it right here is depth and, and speed And being lucky enough to run it across one's head. Let's catch another. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Gone it, dog. Gone it, dog. Gone it, dog. Gone it. Looks like he wants to bite me. You better not. You're talking about pinching a hunk out of you. That thing right there is, 
capable of it, folks. I know I had one get a hold of me one time. Had some shorts on. It got a little old hunk and it pinched. Made a, a blue on it. There we go. My goodness. There wasn't no giving to that fish. That's a, probably a little better fish than what I've been catching. No give at all. Quit. That's a good crappie right here. That's a real good crappie. Let's just let him fight. If he gets off, he does. It's all about the sport, folks, to me. Only the sport. And every once in a while, I'll eat them. <laughs> when she wants some, when Sue wants them, I'm not going to be able to flip that one. That's a good fish right there. I mean, I'm going to try to do this. Not, this is a no-no. Y'all don't attempt this at home. There we go. Is that not a good fish? I don't care where y'all are fishing. You don't think an old man's not having fun? I'm having fun. Is that not a good one? Let's let him go. I got those dudes figured out. There ain't no doubt about it. Go on back. That's a big fish right there. When I set the hook into that fish right there, folks, it was, well, first of all, it was thump. Okay. And I thought back, and that's where that rod stopped after it flexed its maximum. Hey, that's fishing. Old squawking birds. There you go. I want y'all to look. Another. It's like these fish are just coming to me now. Look here. I stand corrected. There's more crappie in here than what I thought. Down through here, getting excited. They're just now starting to get active. That's what the deal was. That's a male right there. God, I'm excited. The reason is, is because y'all been wanting some bank videos, creek videos and bank videos, and I just hadn't had the right weather conditions. I'm going to be straight up to do that. But this is a fishing channel designed for fishermen who likes to fish or loves to fish or who has fish brain. Let's let him go. There he goes. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It's getting kind of overcast and late. But that fish dumped it. And they're doing exactly what I thought they'd do. They're coming up higher in the water column little bit so they're um, more aggressive now we may be able to catch one more because of that god that was a good thump i mean it was a thump, no doubt about it Ty. i'm excited i like it when crappie hit it that way it's just hard to miss them I can't figure out here with somebody he be looking at me all the time, old head stretched out there, old neck stretched. Oh. Well now, we did catch a few. That's pretty good for hour and 15 minutes of fishing. That ain't too bad, not really. Just pull over on the side of the road, folks, and go a fishing. That's just all they are to it. I want to say thank y'all very much for everything y'all do. God bless each and every one of y'all.
it when you can, because it's good food.